start our next online gymnastics class brought to you by Warrington Gymnastics Club. So the theme of today is going to be cartwheels but we're also going to do some harder progressions as well. Now if you've never done a cartwheel before it might be a good idea to have a look at our first class on handstands and I'd give that a try before starting this class. But before we do start we need to do our warm up with Coach Becky and Coach Cara. Okay, so for today's warm up, we're going to do the traffic light game. So, your first task is to have a look around your house and find three different objects. So, we need a green one, we need an amber one, and we need a red one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find a space. When I hold up the green, you're going to jog around either on the spot or wherever you can. And then when I hold up the amber, you're going to do some jumps on the spot. And when I hold up the red, you're going to do a balance on one leg. Okay, so let's mix it up. Green. Red. Green. Amber. Red. Green. Red. And last one, amber. Okay, so now you're nice and warm, we're going to find a space and we're going to do a balancing challenge. Okay guys, so now when I call out a number, you're going to put that many body parts on the floor. So for example, if I said three, you're going to put three different body parts on the floor. Okay, so we're going to mix it up a bit, try and think of as many different ways as you can. So, number four. Two. Three. Two, but one of them has to be your knees. Good, okay, number one. And three, but one of them has to be your elbows. Good, well done guys, give it a go and see how you get on. Thanks for joining in, now we're all nice and warm, we can get started. Now to help me demonstrate today, I've got Coach Clara with us. So, make sure you've got enough space before you start. And our first exercise, we're gonna need a small object on the floor. So. You're going to start by putting your hands in front and you're going to jump your feet over your hoodie or your pillow or your toy and you're trying to go higher and higher each time. Very good, well done Cara. Okay, this time you're going to do the same but in a straddle position and you're going to move your weight and you're going to jump from one foot onto the other foot. So you're getting used to transferring that weight from one foot to the other and the higher you go, easier it'll be when you come to do your cartwheel. Well done, Cara. Okay, so now you can move your objects out of the way. And if you have anything like a block, it could be a stool, a small chair, maybe even a firm pillow, you're gonna put that on the floor and we're gonna do the same exercises, but with your hands on the block. So hands go up and we're gonna jump over. That's it, again, going nice and high. And then we're going to do the same in our straddle position. Just one foot at a time. Well done, very good. Okay, so we're now going to move on to some exercises that are getting a little bit closer to our full skill, which is our cartwheel. So, keeping the block there, you're going to put your hands down, but you're going to swing one leg over, then the other onto the floor. And you're going to go backwards and forwards both ways, Again, trying to go higher and higher each time, getting a little bit braver. Well done, very good. So you might want to spend a bit of time on that first until you get used to that rhythm. Okay, so you can move your block out of the way now. So moving on, we're going to practice how we get into our cartwheel. So similar to if you've done the handstand class, you're going to start with one foot in front of the other. You're going to put your hands down onto the floor and kick. So to progress that, we're going to have to put one hand in front of the other in order to move on to our cartwheel. So it would be good if you had a line on the floor or something in a straight line. And you're going to put your one hand down first and then the other hand. Now like Cara, if you have your right leg in front of you, you're going to put your right hand closest to your foot and then your left hand. Hands up, foot down, right hand, then left hand. If you've got your left foot in front, you're going to put your left foot down, left hand, and then your right hand, trying to stay in that lovely straight line. Now we're going to work 
jump all the way to the end section of your cartwheel. We're going to kick up into a handstand, but instead of coming down on the same leg that you picked up, you're going to come down on the other leg, because when we do cartwheels, you kick up on one leg and you actually come down on the other leg. So if you have your right leg in front, you're going to kick up to handstand, swap your legs and come down. If you'd like to have a friend or a family member standing here, so you can go all the way up, switch the legs and come down. Very good. So it might feel a little bit weird at first to step down on the other leg, but the more times you do it, the more comfortable that you'll get. Okay, we can now move on to having a go at our cartwheel. So you're going to start, you're going, again, if you could have a line or something in front of you, one leg in front, arms up, over the top, and finished. Well done, Cara. Don't worry if it doesn't look like that straight away. It may take some time and it'll take a lot, a lot of practice, but keep going and you'll get there eventually. In order to progress our cartwheels, there's loads of different variations that we can do. So we're going to start with a side-to-side -side cartwheel. Start facing forwards and you finish facing forwards. So you should start and finish facing the same way. That's one variation. The next one is a one-handed cartwheel. Now this one's quite tricky, so make sure you've got those other two very good and down to a T until you start this one. So there's two different ways. We can put our first hand down and our second hand is going to go out to the side and then finish. So this one has to be done a little bit faster. Then you can try again. So this time you're going to put your first hand out to the side and your second hand will go onto the floor. Again, quite a tricky one. It may take some practice. Well done, Cara. Very good. And our last cartwheel is going to be a cartwheel on the other leg. Now, this may feel very funny, might feel a little bit different, and again, a very big challenge. But if you can already do a cartwheel, it's the next step. So you can have a go. Well done. So well done to Cara, and well done to you guys at home. We hope you've had fun. Keep practicing, and we'll see you next time. Thanks everyone, hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe.